Hello, this is the other guy, and welcome back to Seven Days. Um, now, last time we had managed to get to this building, and we were going to go ahead and check it out. So, you know, might as well head inside. Um, now, I don't know what all we're going to find inside, actually. We probably should stick with the bow for now as well. Um, I'm having a little bit of frame rate drops, which is odd. Hmm. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um... I already hear another zombie ready to attack. I just don't see them. Maybe there is an entrance around front, because I know like most of the points of interest interest have been turned into dungeons. Like Oh my god, really? I was like, okay, I'll just look for a Oh come on. And I'm having lag right now. But Naruto running at me. Oh my god, really? Thanks game, very helpful. Okay. This is an excellent gun. Um, we will be putting some effort into making another one of these. Because that did a pretty decent amount of damage. Like... Some really reasonable amount of damage. Um, yeah, but I don't see another entrance, so it looks like we're going to have to make one. Let's just use the bow. There's only one, so I mean. Bearing. Oh, come on. Keep hitting him with arrows. Collect all these. Come on. Give me the arrows. There we go. Alright. So. The the big issue is. Most of the points of interest have been turned into dungeons. And you know. Quite a few of them have different ways to get inside of them. But some of them are just like. Very. Restricted. Um, I suppose that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it does kind of make it where. It, it's weird. What the heck? Why can't I get to these? Oh. I didn't realize that was supposed to be glass. Um, let's drop the broken glass. Um, we'll drop paper as well. We're not going to use that. We'll go ahead and scrap the brass and stuff just so we have a little pile of it. And scrap the extra stuff that isn't helpful. Reorganize. Alright, so our weight's back to manageable. Um, probably shouldn't have picked up all that stuff. Alright, and we're over-encumbered again. Which is fine. We can go ahead and put down some more stuff in the trash or trash can. Yeah, let's go ahead and take these, actually. I'm thinking about that. And then drink some water on top of that. Well, no, actually, we're full on water. Sitting and thinking that stuff dehydrated you. Thanks, game. Very helpful. Very cool. Okay, so that was just a dick move. Um. Alright. Anything in there? You still alive? Yes, you are. Reloading. Right, that's locked. There's nothing up here? What was the point of this then? This was just, I guess, this stuff? Huh. How odd. Come on. Don't fall in the thing. I don't see anything there. Let's get the shotgun just in case. Again, I'm not wanting to use all my shotgun shells, but still, point blank range. Oh, crap. Right, and. Cool. Alright, and. I'm 
unfortunately, in this kind of scenario, I can't aim all that well. Um, just because the amount of light. My bad vision in the dark. Um, again, I guess I could turn up the gamma just a bit, but... I don't know. What is the point of this place? What's the point of walking over here rather than just continuing over here? Oh, we are thirsty now. Drink some water then. Alright. I think we gotta head over here, probably. Possibly. Um, I don't. Re I do not really know where we're going. Again, I haven't really dealt with these points of interest yet. I will say I can't see a freaking thing though. Hmm. Again, being here at night's probably not a great idea. All things considered. What was the point of this then? It's like, you can climb up here. And I'm like, okay. Does that, like, provide me some advantage I would need? Or It's interesting. I'll say that. I don't know. I shouldn't complain as much. And again, that's kind of what I do. So, I don't know. Maybe I should complain that much. No, come on. Give me the flashlight. Okay, that's water, medical supplies. I don't see anything else in there, but the second I drop down is the second they would attack, more than likely. Hmm. I do not know. Um. I hear something bashing through. Bug okay. it. This was a poor choice. Ow, get out of here. Of course. I can't see a fucking thing like that. See, that's the thing. I, this update... Well, not this update. I think it was the update before this one. Added in, you know, made the game really dark. And it adds a lot to the atmosphere, I'll say that. Um, the thing that doesn't add a lot to the atmosphere is the fact that I can't see a fucking thing. Um, a good example being, you know, horror games that, you know... Horror games don't need to be absolutely dark in order to, you know, keep a really spooky atmosphere. Um, they just kind of need, I don't know, really good tension and stuff. And like this, this is fine. And I like the idea that inside buildings would be dark, but when the lights are still on in a bunch of them, I'm like, come on, you know? Okay. Yeah. That is one of the worst things I've ever seen, by the way. Um, and yeah, I realize it's supposed to prevent like deaths coming where it's like, oh, you just you know, there's no penalty for dying. But on the other hand, um, it's fucking annoying, to say the least. You know, when I had the moment of, I can't do anything for 30 minutes because, like, let's say you have any kind of level ups and let's say you're working on something. You know, I need to craft a weapon for, you know, the sake of argument. Um, so I go to quickly craft an item. Well, guess what? Death penalty. All your stats are lowered. Which means, if they happen to be locked behind a, you know, level, or something like that, then you can't use it. For example, let's say I want to go ahead and take my, uh, I don't know, let's say I have a Glock, two level whatever Glocks, and I'm trying to put them together to create a level three. I wouldn't be able to do that right now, I don't think, just due to the way it's set up. Um, like, I think if I try to craft, I will craft a just crap wooden club. But, yeah, see? Because... I don't have the ability anymore, because apparently almost dying just makes it weird. I mean, almost dying would logistically make sense for the whole thing of, you know, you're kind of unable to do stuff, but on the other hand, in a team-based zombie game, well, not team-based, I guess it kind of is, because they have been differentiating roles and made it so that the classes are more focused, like you can build a class kind of thing. And I think some of the perks even have uh, ally bonuses. Um, the, the point, whenever they set it up and they're like, hey, let's just make it a giant pain in the ass to do anything. It's kind of annoying. I lost my train of thought there, but uh, 
Yeah. It, it makes it really, really annoying whenever I'm sitting trying to get something done. And, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't see a fucking thing. Okay, there we go. It's daytime, magically, because I'm not sitting through all that shit. Um, if you have a problem with that, let me know in the comments, and I'll be like, eh, I don't care. I won't. I'll probably be like, oh, okay. And then I'll be like, I don't care. No, again, I'm kidding. I do like responding to comments and stuff. I keep hearing zombies, and I don't know if I'm being attacked by zombies or if the game's being a drama queen and just making zombie noises. Uh. Oh, but, uh, yeah. The, the death penalties, I just find annoying, and there's no way to turn them off. And I know there's a mod that makes it where they basically don't exist. But the thing is, if the players have to mod something particularly in or out each time, like after updates, which, I mean, this was only added in the last update, but, like, you know, it's like the, the, God, what are they called? The HUD and all that, where it's like, you know, I'm able to see my hunger meter. And... Oh, you fucking kidding me with this? Oh my god, give me the fucking shotgun. Anyway, um, I'm very annoyed. Reorganize my stuff. Ugh. Oh, I remember what my point was. Um, it's like the thing of they made it where for a while damage was extremely messed up. Like, zombies, or building a base was basically useless due, just due to the fact of like, uh, you know, you couldn't really keep a base together. Or repaired for long enough if you played on any reasonable difficulty. And it's like, you know, well, there's no point in actually building a base now. Uh, versus just kind of, you know, building a funnel or a maze. And it's it's one of those things. I don't know. Their system of balancing everything is kind of funky. Why aren't blood bags sellable for anything? Yeah, if I remember right, like... They keep trying to balance certain things weirdly. Like, if I remember right, there's a penalty for using the blood kit. It's, like, anemic or something. And it has, like, a really decent penalty to it. So it's, like, logistically it makes sense to, you know, have a cost slash, you know, value thing to it. I don't know what word I'm looking for there. I'll also go ahead and put down the shotgun for now just due to the fact of I'm out of ammo for it. So, yeah. Um, I also didn't realize this was an automatic, but, I mean, hey, it works, so. I think it is an automatic in real life, too. I don't know. This might not be the one I'm thinking of from Call of Duty. I'd mentioned that in a previous video. Um, I blanked out what I was going to say. I've really been losing my train of thought, unfortunately. Um... No, but they need to stop trying to balance stuff and just kind of, I don't know. Oh my god. Add in some in-game mechanics and then balance. And that, you know, death penalty is like... Yeah. We still have 24 minutes of that. And I'm probably going to just remove that off screen. I'm going to keep it for the sake of the video. For a little bit. But whenever I get off screen, I'm probably just going to remove it. Because it's just... I don't know. <sighs> yeah, it's a penalty for death, but... I don't know. If it's a zombie apocalypse and the player can survive whatever anyway. I mean, just kind of just... I don't know. Oh, come on. Just go ahead and remove some of the money or... You know. Something like that. I mean, shit, that's one of the main mechanics in this game now. Alright. I still see some more zombies over there. Let's try to sneak a bit to get into position to get them. I don't know if we can hit them from here. Oh, we can! That was pretty good. Um, can we get past this trash? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, I don't know. And nerfing metas is another thing. Oh, 
Oh, crap. You hit really hard, too, don't you? Get out of here. Oh, come on. That pisses me off more than anything, though. It's like, balance bugs, then worry about nerfing. Uh, Fallout 76, the infamous Fallout 76, uh, has had a really major patch at the time of... But I guess it's not at the time of me playing this, because this happened a little while ago. Um, but in it, they essentially went ahead and nerfed two-shot explosive weapons. But the thing is, they didn't just nerf two-shot explosive weapons. They also went ahead and nerfed a lot of other weapons and a lot of other items. and Or not necessarily... I'll explain. Okay, so they nerfed two-shot explosive weapons. They made it so they couldn't spawn. They didn't get rid of the existing ones. They just made it so they couldn't ex they couldn't spawn. It's like, okay, that's a good thing. But they also went ahead and nerfed... Explosives, weapons, and perks related to it. And then, you know, as it turns out, there's a reason it was the dominant strategy. It's because enemies take too many bullets to kill. There's just too high of a time from, you know, the player fighting a zombie to, or not zombie, an enemy to, you know, the enemy falling over. So that's why people gravitated to them, because they work. You know, and I mean, that's pretty obvious with, you know, various metas and all that. But the thing is, you know, energy weapons are still horribly, uh, apparently just completely unviable when it comes to anything in game. Like energy weapons, heavy weapons, explosives were just horrific. Like, oh my fucking God, please don't destroy the fucking ladder. Oh my God, please don't. Come on. Oh my God. Please stop trying to destroy the ladder. Oh my god. There's no way these AI are that brain dead. Uh, anyway, people ended up just swapping to melee. Because it was a hundred times more efficient than their current, you know... Well, not current. Uh, explosive was better beforehand. Supposedly. But then, you know, they removed that. So everyone just kind of swapped to the next meta. Which was... Explosives. Or not explosives. Uh, melee. And it's like, you know, the last so many updates of this game, you know, I, I remember reading patch notes and it's like, oh, they go ahead and remove one thing because it was being exploited, like mass crafting items and stuff like that for experience. And, you know, it's a thing of, okay, you know, you remove that, but then second you do, people are just going to find the next meta and grind it. The current one on this one, if I wanted to, I could totally do this in less than... The first week I could have one set up and just have an XP farm. Which, I mean, they've kind of balanced it now, but still, I mean, people are still working around it. Uh, there's a way to just set up basically a death funnel. And you just set it up, trap a screamer in a box, uh, trick its AI into going in a big loop, it continuously screams, summons more enemies... And you just pick them off as you go. It has no threat. You know what? Let's take all the office chairs. Uh, so this is where we died last. We just cannot get any water, can we? Hmm. We got a shamway crate. Got some potatoes and some blueberries. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, my. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? You dumb motherfuckers. Oh, my God. Keep running. Okay. Cool. Shut up. Where the fuck? Oh, my rifle's right here. Okay. I was like, where'd my rifle go? But... Oh, come on. Freaking lag step. What nest? It's more arrows. Where's this fucking zombie that just hit me? We did all just see it. Oh my god, you're stuck on the fucking railing. Really? Until I mention you and then you're like, oh, he sees me. I'm slacking on the job. 
I don't know. But, uh, anyway, my whole rambling about the whole, you know, nerfing metas, and it's like... Just... Oh, for fuck's sake. Really with this shit? Come on. Really? What the fuck? Why does this gun do so much damage? Why does it do so much damage to blocks? Do I have any healing items? I have no healing items. Because of course it'd be too easy for me to have something to heal with. Is there anything up here I need or is this just a decorative... Oh, it's right here. Alright. Is there anything in here, though? Oh, for fuck's sake. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't have my fucking gun on me. She dead? Oh, come on. Okay. Again, I know that was too many shots, but... Please just let me swap to the freaking flashlight. Um, I realize that was too many shots, but at the moment I kind of couldn't do anything because I was stuck on the freaking ladder. And I really did not want him to just... Oh, come on. Clobber me. Randomly. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's just run back. I can't see a fucking thing anyway. That is a dog somewhere. Yeah, we're out. Again, normally I would be like, you know... Well, I mean... They run anyway, so... Oh, that is a wolf. That is a wolf. Okay, we are running. Come on! Don't get stuck on a fucking rock. What are you doing? If you're wondering why I'm out in the water, it's because these zombies can't swim. They'll just kind of bob underneath. I know I did that in a previous video, but... I thought I'd mention it again. Um... I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. And I'm not trying to sit and diss on, uh, you know, the fun pimps. Um, I'll sit and diss on Telltale for not fucking finishing the, uh, seven days port for console before they fucking went under. Um, I also, like, kind of, I don't know. The Walking Dead games were okay. They're kind of weird, not bad. Um, I was kind of a fan of them, but at the same time, like, I mean, I wasn't absurdly... Oh no. Is this a blood moon or is this just... No, okay, thank god. Okay, we're on the seventh day though. We need to panic um, because we do not have a plan to deal with the seventh day. Other than just kind of cry. Um, I think I'll go ahead and finish taking the factory and then just kind of set up a little panic room in there. And once I've done that, I guess something. Um, let's set up some doors. Uh, I know this is ridiculous, but... If it works, right? There we go. And you're like, that'll stop a zombie. Oh, you better believe it would stop a zombie. Um, let's see. Camp. I'm really enjoying the updates this game has. I mean, they kind of come out slowly, but at the same time, game development doesn't happen overnight. So, I mean, you know, I get it. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. There's some stuff I'm like, you know. We could just make some potatoes. Oh, we only have one potato. No, let's put up our potato for now. Gonna need to plant that. Um, we're also probably gonna need to run to the shop and actually buy some food. That's the thing. We're also we're we're low on everything. Period. Like we're just kind of out of stuff. Um, and we've not found a single pot yet. 
as well, so that's fun. Um, 919. Put those up, I think. I don't know. They, they don't have descriptions yet. I don't know why. Um, I think I actually might know why, but I'm just, it, this would be a guess. Um, I think it's because of the fact of, like, the mods right now. It just makes it a giant pain to actually add a description. Like, someone gave me detailed instructions and I could not figure it out. So, like, I don't know. Um, although maybe I just didn't get it. Maybe everyone else was like, oh, no, yeah, that was freaking simple. But, like, 90% of the mods I've seen just, you know, uh, they really don't seem to have descriptions for anything. We can't see the description. Uh, yeah, none of these have descriptions. Uh, I was going to say we couldn't see them from here, but apple sapling. Where would we get? Can we buy seed packs, possibly? I don't know. I really don't. Um, let's reorganize. Put those up. Some rifle and some shotgun shells. Let's take the rifle and the shotgun. I will reload my shotgun first off. Alright. Great. And then we'll put up this stuff. How much does that sell for? 46. That's not much. Um, I think we'll head to the shop. Buy some food. Um... See what other supplies they have. You're the one that was complaining that it was too cold 10 seconds ago, and now you're complaining it's too hot. What do you want me to do? That's nighttime when we go swimming. Seriously, game. It was ridiculous. Um, and, and yeah, I know these door system or this door system right now is ridiculous, but hey, what can I do? Um, so far, this challenge has been very weird. I will say I'm kind of enjoying it, though. It's weird, you know, thinking, okay, that bridge is the entirety of what I can build on. Um, I don't know though. I don't know. I, I'm just kind of rambly at this point. I think I'll go ahead and stop here and uh, just do some of my shopping and stuff off screen. Um, and come back in the next one. Back at the, like, probably drop off the extra stuff from the base. And then uh, be back at the warehouse in time to for the horde. So, where are you at? Oh, you're right here. Okay. Alright. And those are already reloaded, so. Hey, yeah, I'll go ahead and stop here, though. Um, until next time, this has been the other guy. Subscribe if you want to. If not, bye.